Hey everybody, lesson five homework, we're on page 153. And what we're doing is using a number bond to make the next hundred like we were making the next 10. Now we're using those same strategies to make the next hundred. This, these first two, this is something we have to know in, in order to be able to use this strategy. We need to know when we're talking about tens, when we're talking about hundreds, what does it mean? So two tens is 20. What is 32 tens? Every 10 10 is 100. So we have three groups of 10. So that's 300 and then two tens left over. So we have 320. It's kind of like just putting a zero at the end. Here we have 52 tens. So again, that two tens, that's 20, but we have 50. Every group of 10 is 100. So we have uh, five groups of 10. So we have 500 and then the two extra tens. 520. And again, it's like putting a little zero right there at the end. So now we're going to use that knowledge because we're more comfortable with those smaller numbers sometimes. 19 tens plus 11 tens. It's easy to see that if I took one away from here and gave it to this one, I would have 19 and 1. What is 19 and 1? 20. And then I have to add in this other part. So I have 20 plus 10, 30 tens. Now that's 300. This is 190 plus 110 equals 300. But it's a little bit easier when we're looking at those small numbers. We don't get intimidated. Now, let's use what we just figured out. 19 plus 11 is 30. This is 19 plus 13. How many more are they adding in here? Instead of 11, they're adding 13. That is two more tens. So instead of 30 tens, how many is it going to be? Two more. 32 tens. We don't need to figure it out again because we just figured out 19 plus 11 is 30. Let's do this one. 28 plus 23. 28 tens plus 23 tens equals how many tens? Which one of these numbers is closest to the next 10 or the next 100? 28. How many more does it need? Two more. I'm going to take two from 23. If I take two away, then it's going to have 21 left. We're going to add those two together. So 28 plus two is 30. Now we have 30 and 21. One and zero is one. Two tens and three tens is five. So now we have 51 tens. That's 510. Okay, here we have 28 plus 24. Instead of adding 23, we're adding 24. So how much more is 24 than 23? The difference is just one. They added one more. So we can just add one more to our sum here and know that this is 52. It's going to be one more than 28 plus 23. All right. So now when we're using it into the hundreds, instead of simplifying it into tens, we're going to do that same thing. We're going to decide which number 
is closest to the next hundred. <clears throat> so in this case, 90 is closest to the next hundred. So it needs 10 more. You take 10 out of 180 and you get 170 left. 90 and 10 is 100. We're going to write that simplified equation down here. So now we have 100 plus 170. Zero and zero is zero. Seven and zero is seven. One and one is 270. All right, now we're going to do it for ourselves. Let's take a look at B. We have 190 plus 460. Which of those numbers is closest to its next 100? 490 again. 100, sorry, did I say 4? 190 is very close to 200. How many more does it need? It needs 10. I'm going to take it from this other number. And I'm going to put the 10 closest to the number that I am adding it to. If I take 10 away from 460, if I take one of those 10s away, I'm going to have 450 left over. So those are my two parts. I'm going to put that first part, that 10, with the 190. And that's going to give me 200. What's the other part I need to add back in? the 450. So now again, just adding my tens and ones and then my two hundreds. 400 plus 200 is 650. Pretty nifty. You can just make a simpler problem. <clears throat> 540 plus 280. Which one of those numbers is closest to the next 100? 280. How many more does it need to get to the next 100? And if you're having trouble with that, please remember you have to learn your number bonds to 10. Because whether those are 10 ones or 10 tens or 10 hundreds or 10 thousands, those are always going to be the, um, a strategy for you to use. So now instead of making the next 10, we're making the next hundred and we still need eight plus two, eight tens plus two tens, which is 20. So you really have to learn those friends of 10. If I take two tens out of 504 tens, I'm going to be left with 500 and two tens. I'm going to put these together. And now I'm adding this part and whatever this new number is. So I have 520 plus what is this? 280 and 20. The next hundred is 300. This is an easy problem to solve. We're just going to carry the tens over and add the hundreds. Five plus three. If you don't know your facts, count them up. Five, six, seven, eight. 820. That is a lot easier than trying to look at this. <clears throat> if we were drawing chips, it would all take much longer. This is super fast and efficient. Making a simpler problem is a great strategy. So 380 is closest to the next 100. I'm going to take how many? I need 20 more. That's going to leave me with 410. You notice I can put that 20 on either side. I'm just putting it on the side closest to the number I am giving it to. So 380 and 20 is 400. I almost wrote 300. That's how you make mistakes. 400 plus 410. Uh, 
I want you to do this next one by yourself. Pause the video, and when you're ready to check your work, push play again. 99 is very close to the next 100. We only need one more. We take it from 141, which leaves us with 140. So we have 100 plus 140, 240. There's just two more, everybody. Do the same thing with these that you did with the last one. I want you to pause and then check your work. Okay, everybody, taking a look first at F. We only need one more to get that to 300, so we're going to take it from 75, which leaves us with 74 over here. 74 plus 300, much easier problem, 374. And finally, with 795, we need five more to make 800. Going to just take it from 156. That would leave us with 151. So our new problem is 800 plus 151 equals 951. That's the second grade standard, adding and subtracting within a thousand. We're pretty close to a thousand there at 951. Good job, everybody. I'll see you next time.